I guarantee you one thing. You can't complete this game. Many have tried and many have failed. I am dead inside. Do you see that? Not even 1% have ever managed to finish it. And of course you might be asking yourself, how is this even possible? Well, once you see what the challenge is about, you will understand why. This is Frost, the most infamous and hardest overall to the game. It turns the game into a hardcore survival experience, which introduces a lot of new challenges, like NPCs killing you with one hit, food and medications being extremely rare to find, what the hell is lethargy, different weapon conditions and so much more. This journey is already extremely hard and made even more difficult by the sadistic community which decided to introduce permadeath, meaning if I die, then that's it. I die in real life. No, luckily not, but I lose all my progress and have to restart. That and so much more as we take a deep dive in the post-apocalyptic nuclear wasteland that is Fallout Frost. The game starts out like every other Fallout playthrough. You customize your character, it makes you look younger. This shit, <laughs> and that's where the similarities end. Dear, did you again have the, you know, oh! I died in the fucking intro, are you serious? After that, some guy comes into your room and bashes you in the head with a pipe. That is where you awake again in an unknown location full of different doors. Behind every door there is a different starting location with random loot. And as I had absolutely no idea what I got myself into, I decided to give them all a try. Which honestly gave me crippling depression and frustration but more on that later. To name a few starting locations, we got the tree cart, which literally has a sentry bot right in front. Oh, okay, what the hell, what the hell? What, what, what is your problem, F Frost creators? No! There is also the museum, which has a freaking death claw trapped in the room with you. Get the fuck off me! Get the fuck off me! Leave this place! <laughs> The glowing sea, which is extremely radiated. And by far the worst one, the bridge. Which honestly feels like you're playing the game after getting a lobotomy. What the? What is going on? Oh, okay. Something is seriously wrong with me. But even after all these different ways which the game tries to screw you over, I managed to get one decent run. And so let's check that out. A friendly person. She got a stim pack. She wants 161 for that. What a bit. Oh damn, it's full of bears. Maybe I can bring the Yao Guai up to that old lady. Hey, Yao Guai. Hey lady, uh, I brought you a friend. Oh my god. What have I done? Oh. Okay, now I just need to get that bear off my back. <gasps> oh my god. That's lucky. This is just the luck I needed. We're gonna steal her shit. Relatively stacked out, I made my way towards the main city. More specific, Diamond City. If only I knew the nights in Frost are pretty dark. Damn, it's late again. Oh man, I can't see shit. And there's not even a light. Oh, well then. Diamond City shouldn't be far from here. Maybe I can, maybe I can do it. Everything is fun in games while I'm undetected. Now when I'm detected, that's where shit goes off. Is this a friend? Hey, brother. Finally light. The door up there. Oh, okay. Oh, help me little robot that plays copyrighted music. I beg you. Oh! Okay, that was like a sh- Oh my god. I'm fu- I'm so 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 fu- all together, after 57 deaths, day one wasn't that bad. There's gotta be some safe spot in this game. I honestly doubt that everything in this game wants me dead. Day two started out awfully bad, as I got chased by a cult- Oh my god, how many people are there? Jesus! And the guy with his dogs kept repeatedly killing me. I'm mad now. No! But that is where I came up with a huge idea. Travel over to Sanctuary Hills and artificially level up by building stuff, as everything you build gives you a few XP. The only problems were getting there alive and knowing for sure if building is even a thing in Frost. I don't know, could have been patched out. But I had no other choice. I was lost and didn't know where to continue. 
The reason I'm trying to get to Sanctuary is since in the base game it's a starting location, it should be full of uh, weapons, food, like even here at Concord. It should be full of loot. So look at that buff out and all of that good stuff. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Hello. What the hell is that? Sir, Greetings. Uh, hello. Are you feeling all right, sir? I am wonderful and I'm so happy to finally meet a living soul that doesn't want to kill me and that actually wants to speak with me, so yes. Oh, is he my friend now? Nice. Moment of truth. For us, there's two playstyles, one rapper playstyle and settlement playstyle. Let me use the workshop. Yes, we are freaking rolling, baby. First of all, I need to go to sleep. Oh! Oh my f god. Voltec representative. Uh, uh, come here, come here! You, what the f are you doing outside there in the streets? What is he? What, 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 what the hell is that weapon? We are being fucking raided. Was this just one guy? Do we have a one-man army going on here? I see him! He's just standing there. Menacingly! Uh, oh, hold on, that's actually a ghoul over there. Maybe that ghoul killed him. Jesus Christ! Okay, I did it. Okay, is there any way I can heal myself so that I can uh, maybe walk again? No. This right here is the other reason why this mod is so brutal. Every side effect, sickness or injury is multiplied by 10. And what you usually get from them are major debuffs to your stamina and stats. By far the worst thing is how to cure it. So for example, if you have a crippled limp, the only way to fix that is finding one of these ultra rare tools. Or go to sleep, which of course in the middle of a firefight is going to be very hard. Oh no, it's bloody reactive. And I was hoping for a red away okay oh uh, he was Voltec no uh, I fucking need to do something against this radiation this can't be true like my biggest problem is not even the fractured limb the the, the weapons that do jack shit or the melee that doesn't work it is the radiation poisoning because radaways right are so hard to come by that's what fucks me over so all right so yesterday was quite a shit show let's forget about that but actually i found something very interesting so look at this as a ghoul you can absorb radiation but at a cost so any camp booze you take lasts only one third of their duration i don't use camps or booze maybe i have to we'll see and while your full face slots are not concealed you'll be hit with minus 20 sanity minus 5 charm or charisma and minus 5 luck which is basically no debuff at all, because if I wear a face mask, I don't have these debuffs, as far as I understand. And so with me now being a ghoul, I was sure that nothing would get in my way. Things would be a lot easier. Or at least, so I thought. Yes! Ooh. Crippled my head a little bit, but that's fine. Back in Sanctuary, I started scrapping every single piece of wood and steel I could lay my hands on. I built a defensive wall and started farming some XP. Now I'm doing this because every time you level up, you get to choose one perk point. Oh, look at that, toughness. Plus 10 damage resistance, absolutely yes. After building and scrapping everything in my possession, I'm now at a proud level 11. Now you guys won't attack me, right? Parko Judah. Okay, we did level up though. I think building shelves wasn't even the move. Okay, killing deers? Now that's a that's a different story. It's over there. Now, having a higher level made the game much easier. Meaning I now was able to tank much more than before. Which ultimately made me a little too cocky. Okay. Enough! Fuck, they're pairing everything. Okay, that's one. Fuck. How many of you are there? Get off me! Get off me, please! How many do you have? 
Oh, oh mein Gott. <lacht> Au. Oh no. No. <laughs> so far, every path I've taken has resulted in a dead end. And as of right now, I accumulated over 150 deaths. Not only am I morally destroyed because I see absolutely no progress in these days, but on top of that, I have absolutely no clue how to continue. For this reason, of course, I decided to look up a few ways on how to approach this game. Interestingly, that's where I found out this game has a whole storyline, which I haven't even tackled up until now. And for that, we have to start a brand new game in the tunnels. Oh, we got a gate key. Unlock. Fucking close it again. Which, among other things, will grant me access to downtown, a small city in the underground tunnels where I can buy, sell, but most importantly, get healthcare. No matter what it took, I had to get there. Preferably in one piece. So basically, we have to pick up a few quest items. Alright, there should be a couple of ghouls. One should be in the back over here. Yeah, see his ugly face. Yes! Okay, that was a good hit. Good. Helmet, sunglasses, Wilhelm's journal. This might be it. So this is where we spawned. And now we have to go to the right. And if you remember, there's where these two uh, people were just camping over there, those two ghouls. Uh, they won't let me pass, I think. So we'll have to be quick. Okay. Leaving them butt booty naked. After I collected the second part of the quest, I gave everything to this guy, which as a reward, gave me the key to downtown. In downtown, there actually was quite a lot to do. Some people gave me a bunch of quests and I was able to oh, lay my hands on a few decent that. guns and gear. With seemingly nothing else to do and my questline leading me completely to a different subway station, it was time to resurface, where danger was lurking behind every corner. Okay, how am I supposed to move around here? It's full of ghouls and those wankers are hiding down in the train station doing absolutely nothing. Oh no, it appears I'm in quite a pickle. Okay. Two bullets, it's already too much. But I'm dealing quite a bit of damage. Okay, good, good, good. I have to be absolutely careful not to fall down. I'm gonna try to change position. Fuck. I'm wasting too much. Oh! Whew. Okay, I wasted way too many bullets. Whew. Okay. I don't really have valuable stuff, unfortunately. I need to pull out the all reliable. Hello, my friends. Okay, come up here. Whoo! Okay. We finally have some success. Plus 50 damage. Hell yes. All right. It was worth it after all. All right. So what were these guys protecting? P wait, wait. Pikmin gallery. Isn't that the raider serial killer? Hello. Oh my God. They drew grenades. Being that this was by far the furthest run, I was absolutely devastated. Every part of me was just screaming for me to give up. But if I made it this far once, I can definitely do it again. So with my last will and strength, I restarted. <sighs> okay, an hour later, this is kind of where I was before. But there are way more ghouls now here for some reason. Get away from me! Help! This guy's bullying me! Over for now? Ain't shit over, look at my health bar. If somebody looks at me, I die. Yeah, excuse me, I'll just borrow that. 
Yeah, yeah, sorry. You, you know, healthcare. Yeah, right. Uh, healthcare is the real enemy. <laughs> 400 caps to cure my radiation sickness. I thought this was a community, not capitalism. Jesus. Bitch just sucked me dry. Okay, I guess I'll stay in the tunnels, at least for now. So, at least radiation is not a problem. Oh, come on. Uh, what? What? Why did he shoot me? I'm one of the good guys. I count three ghouls out here, spinning their thumbs, and the turret shoots me. It's a stupid game anyways. Was this the right time to give up? I don't know. Beaten down and with that glimpse of hope getting smaller each time I restarted, I found myself back into the glowing sea. Not really motivated to continue, I was more than anything looking for a reason to stop. What do you want? Oh, I see how it goes. Yo, this guy is sitting faster than I can damage him. Am I fighting that bull? What the hell is going on? Fuck is this bullshit? What am I doing wrong? <sighs> Apparently now I have two enemies to fight. Fucking love this game. Man, what fuck the fuck is going on? What the hell is going on here? Did he domesticate those rats? What the hell? Can you die, please? Oh, that was close to call. Just leave me alone, please! <laughs> what have I done to you, dude? What have I done? He just wants blood. He, he's dedicated to beat me to death with a fucking pool stick. Oh, and he got it. Okay, no. Enough. Enough is enough. I am drawing the line in the sand. Screw frost. Screw this permadeath. Screw the glowing sea and especially you over there. Screw you. Well, can't make this shit up. I am so fucking done. I am so fucking done with this challenge. I swear to God. I have seen no substantial progress in these four days and you know like you go an hour and then you just get killed by some bullshit mechanics because you can't control everything and so all of that progress boom gone it's just really mentally exhausting i can't add anything else i just give up I have never faced a challenge with this magnitude in my life. And I wasn't ready to give up just yet. I needed to bring at least one victory home. Big or small, I don't care. And for that, I needed a master plan and a custom start. So I gave myself some gear, weapons, food and meds and my plan was to take over the infamous town of Libertalia. But I couldn't imagine what was waiting for me over there. Even though I gave myself all of those fancy things, don't believe I made it easy for me. Because I haven't changed the difficulty whatsoever. And I still treat this challenge as a permadeath. Meaning each time I die I have to undertake the trip from my spawn all the way up there. Which is basically a 5 minute swim. Once I got to Libertalia my plan plan was already clear. First, I needed to kill all the enemies on the outside before making my way to the main building. Ooh, okay. There we go. I have, just have to jiggle peek it. Those, those shots connected. Ooh, fragmentation grenades. Hell yes. Damn, that's rough. Ooh. Oh!
<laughs> ah, you thought it was lacking, huh? No. Oh. oh. They got a fucking robot, oh shit. That right there was the first sign that something wasn't quite right. This challenge might have been a little too easy, or at least so I thought. Because when I was about to approach the main building, I got an unpleasant surprise. Okay, we have to go closer. Oh, wow! With that power armor user standing over there, I figured I needed a different strategy. So I tried to go to the main building first and working my way up from there before taking out the rest. Which, guess what, was even a worse idea. <laughs> oh, damn! There's some slaughtering going on here. Oh! Okay. Okay. Damn, they had good armor. Okay. Railway rifle. What the hell? It does 110 plus damage. Fuck yeah. I got 22 spikes with this this bad boy. Oh! Oh! No! Okay. I'm putting out the other one. <laughs> Oh, they're shooting... They're shooting each other now? <laughs> this mod is making no sense. I, I, On which side am I? I feel like I'm just trying to third-party them the whole time. In fact, besides the usual survivor, which we are already used to see at this point, there also was another faction present. The US military. A heavily geared faction with the best armor and weapons in the game. Oh boy. Alright, this is not a slow and steady type of job. I have to go in, blast, and get out. Okay. Hello. Whoa. That's not nice, my friend. Oh yeah, it is personal. Oh, that's a general. He's tanking. What? One shot again? Where is this going? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, hello. <laughs> Absolutely nothing worked. Pushing the building head first often resulted in a death, and if I made it past the initial wave, some random laser killed me instantly on the stairs. I even tried climbing the ship, which got the power armor user on my neck. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, man. I'm on your side. I could be on your side, maybe. Mabakagarima, what a pussy. But eventually, I found a way to get on top. The only problem is that there is a robot, which is pretty hard to kill. Okay. Oh, come on. After countless attempts at trying to take over the main building, unsuccessfully I should mention, I was sure that I needed to switch up my tactic. What you're about to bah. witness now was completely improvised. I mean, the next thing I could try technically to do is pickpocket the guy in the <laughs> in the power armor. Just steal his course so he has to get out. And then get in the power armor. Oh my god, that's 200 IQ. He's there, he's not even looking at me. Yeah, keep on shooting, keep on shooting. Die! Damn it. Now I'll admit that was a pretty stupid idea, but it gave me an even better idea. Jiggle peek this motherfucker. Boom. Come on, can't be much longer. I got him! Oh yes! Oh my god, this is some good stuff. Oh my god. I can't possibly carry this somewhere. I don't care if this takes me 10 days. I'ma do it. 
and with the power armor nicely tucked in my pocket, I still needed to find a power armor suit. Yes, okay, I've dropped my stuff over here. Now, I conveniently walked right past one a few days earlier. I just couldn't remember where exactly. Yeah, we got one here, but I don't have hacking unlocked, so this one will just be locked away. Okay, good. Okay. Oh shit, we got no course. There could be one in there, if I'm lucky enough. We have to try. Okay, we just want the core. Came for the core, we're gonna take it and we're gonna leave. Absolutely no problem. Oh, I wait too much. Okay, that was lucky as shit. <laughs> Boom. Things are finally coming together. And it's even a full core, fantastic. Okay, we're gonna drop off all of this. All right. It's now or never. I was ready. I had the power armor, a good gun, and some bullets. I have come for vengeance. Don't get in my way, mortal. There you go. There you go. Okay. So this makes things a lot easier. Uh, everybody just died. At least that bitch is still down there. Huh? We you see now? Okay, where are you, little robot? Are you kidding? There is a power armor right here. <laughs> oh man! Oh, that, this just fucking sucks. Is that? I, I, I. Oh my God! There's another one. Okay, I'm sorry. Come on, open up. Surprise! Come on, open up. Yes! Okay. Nice. Oh! Popping a steam pack. Pulling out all reliable. Okay, there we go. Ow! No! Where did that come from? Oh, damn, so he was baking me from up here. Listen, man, can you just please give me a moment? This was by far the most frustrating and painful gaming experience I've ever had in my life. And although I wasn't able to complete the game or the challenge, I gotta say it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, Wanderers.